This week's show brought to you by Frank Shoup, Georgetown's big name in cars. Georgetown Advantage Air, now locally owned and operated by Gene Thompson. Welcome everybody to the Scott County Cardinals Coaches Show, the boys basketball coaches show. We've got Coach Hicks here again with us, and we've got Michael Marino. We're uh, going to have a special guest every week, and Michael's been part of uh, two wins early on, Coach. Uh, you guys have uh, looked impressive in your start against uh, both Paris and Powell County. The latter half of that uh, pretty high-scoring uh, dogfight, I guess you could say, last night from Powell County. It was really, a, a, from a player's standpoint, I'm sure Michael loved it because it was a lot of fun. He was <laughs> up and down, and both teams were playing. But I, what I like from a coaching standpoint, Cal, is that we played hard, as they did. We, both teams really played hard, and, and uh, we made a ton of mistakes, and they, they made a ton of turnovers. But uh, I think they made their shots. Uh, we. But it was, uh, again, I, I like, I don't know, it sounds like a broken record now, but I liked her effort. I thought everybody out there really hustled and played hard. And, and uh, you know, we got to correct some mistakes, especially on screening. And yeah. you know, we had, we were called four screening violations and last night, and we got to get that corrected because that, that really hurt you in a big game. But I thought, I thought all in all, you know, we, we, we moved the ball really good. We, we come out the second half and finally rebounded well with them. But they, we did, they beat us the first half on the boards. And that surprised me, but we got about 16 turnovers out of them. Mm -hmm. So they, were, they didn't get any shots off of those, so they didn't, they didn't have a chance. And, then, and the shots they got, they made. So there wasn't a whole lot of rebounds to get. Now that's, it, that game was a real mixed bag, I thought. Just in terms of, it was hard to get a read. You, you look at the stats, and they were deceiving, I thought, in a lot of ways. And uh, all the fouls called the game, and only two guys fouled out. <laughs> that was amazing, too. Well, early in the year, you play a lot of numbers. And we would play ourselves into uh, – eight man rotation probably maybe nine but right now you're giving everybody a chance you're playing a lot of we play a lot of people and but like i say as the season goes on we'll play ourselves into our into our rotation michael i know at halftime i needed a drink of water just watching you guys but you guys like that fast pace it looks like uh, the way you play the first couple of games yeah um see fast paced ball i guess it's kind of like what people what sets us apart from other teams i mean we conditioned so well throughout, from the first day of school throughout all the way up to October 15th and then all the way throughout the season. So we basically, we, we're running like a real high level program and we are in such good condition to where that fast, that fast paced ball isn't really like a challenge for us. It just comes natural and we just run. What I've noticed from the first two games also is that coach will sometimes sub five for five and then you guys will come back in beginning of the second quarter and go on a run. It's got to kind of help you kind of recharge and, and, and get, get going again. Yeah, I think everybody when they start the game just comes out with a little bit of jitters. I mean, no matter what game it is, it could be power counter, it could be, you know, the Golden State Warriors or the Cavs <laughs> or something. I mean, we're going to come out with, you know, a couple nerves that we're going to have to work out. And then when we hit the second quarter, we get a little motivation, a little fire under us that we got to, you know, play better than we did before when we came in. So we, that's one of what sparks our run. Seems like uh, everybody, everybody on the team is a pretty good rebounder and everybody's a pretty good defensive player too. Coach is talking about everybody being well-rounded. I mean, is that what you see as this team strength? Is that uh, everybody does a little bit of everything? Well, I think, you know, we were all, we were here last year and we're all a year older, a year more of experience to where we know that if we want to play and now that we're all, you know, we can all play ball. We all know that we can score. We develop ourselves. That we're gonna have to play defense if we want to play. So we're gonna have to work hard on defense, and we're gonna have to work hard to get rebounds. And as Coach Sully says, uh, no rebounds, no rings. So Pat Riley probably used to have the locker room. To where if we don't rebound the ball, we don't play defense, then we're gonna be sitting right next to him on the bench. Yeah. Just uh, talk about, a little bit about the the fact that. Coach, everybody comes in here, sees Scott County across the chest, and you're going to get their best game on that night. They they want to take you guys down, I'm sure. Well, it, it's it's really when they come in come in here, it's it's you know it's it's their their big game, uh, and and, I, and that goes hand in hand. But also that we also allows us to have a little bit of intimidation factor because mm -hmm. you know teams know we're Scott County, and and and, uh, and I guess over the last 20 years, Cal, we've won more. Than any program in the state, we want more of everything, and, and uh, so we we get we we you know, we don't get overlooked by anybody, mm -hmm. and but that's you know, and, and talking about like go about playing fast, to play fast, 
you have to work so hard because you got to teach players in practice and through and through fundamentals how to play the game, and then they go out there and play it. You don't coach every move and every step of it. Uh, that that's that's the big way to play that. That's why we work so hard in our program on fundamentals because once we teach you to play, then we want you to go out there and play. And you don't have really time to sit, sit and think about this or that. You got to go out there and play. And based on making the reads and making decisions based on what you see. As a player, is that nice to know that you're kind of going to get that best shot from everybody? It keeps you on your toes, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, it prepares us not only for what our main goal is, is to get far down in the march, but it just tells us, you know, never to it, it keeps us humble i guess to never you know we're not too cool we're not we're not too good for everybody i mean we may be labeled as a team that's on a much higher level on a much higher scale and we may be held to a lot of higher expectations but it just teaches us you know never overlook anybody always play with the same amount of intensity no matter who your opponent is i mean it could be some elementary school team like i said earlier it could be the Cavs. i mean never overlook anybody always play with the same amount of intensity and go play as hard as you can and you know, Cal, that, that's part of the beauty of Kentucky High School basketball. You know, we could be a, you know, we're a top five ranked team in the state. And we could play a team that's not ranked. But yet, <laughs> man, like I, t like I tell you guys, they're going to play their tails off. They're not going to lay down. Just like They're not going to lay down. Just like uh, Mr. Napier for, uh, for Powell County last night, lighting you up for 33. And yeah. Every team in Kentucky has got a kid in this case. They all got them. They've all got them. And, and that's what I, I love so much about Kentucky High School basketball is, Every team comes to that gym, it's, it, it, they're living their dream. They're out on that court playing, and, and uh, gosh, they play hard. They play hard, and, and that, that's, that's the challenge of it. Every night, you have to come out ready to play. Playing uh, a road game is probably actually going to be played before a lot of people see this video, but close to home against uh, Lexington Christian on Thursday night, that's a, that's a challenge in itself. It really is. They, they're uh, undefeated at 4-0 now, and actually beaten everybody by 20 points or more they played. Uh, they got a, a veteran team coming back last year. From, from last year, plus they picked up a transfer from Woodford and a transfer from East Jasmine. So they got a couple good transfers that are in two of the first six. And uh, it, it's, it's a good challenge for us. I, I, we know, and we handled them you know, pretty good twice last year. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so I, I think it's a, it's a level they're at a pretty good level right now, and they're playing with a lot of confidence. And we're going in on their home floor. So tomorrow night, we'll, you know, I, I, I love it, Cal, because we're going to find out a lot about our team tomorrow night. I know, Michael, during football season, a lot of those guys talk about how much they love playing against the Lexington schools, any Lexington school, because it's just a different uh, different rivalry uh, with Scott County. Do you find the same thing in basketball? Well, yeah, I mean, as a school, we all love to come together, you know, against Lexington schools, because Lexington schools always call out, oh, hey, you know, we might, if we, what if we were one school like you guys? And they always, they, they come at us with that. So we decide, you know, just to, it, it unifies us, and we just, it, it's a different, different feeling when we go out on the floor against, you know, Lexington schools like, we go out with a chip on our shoulder like, hey, we're going to have to prove to them that there's a reason why that people always make up excuses for not being able to play with us. Or like if something is to happen and they are to lose, then they get on us for it because they're not one school. And, and Cal, there's a, there's a big difference in Lexington basketball and Lexington football. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad. That the is also the true. state champs that are is also last true. year. <laughs> Lexington is, is, yeah. has, you know, I, 64 years old, and ever since I've been following high school ball, Lexington has always been really good in basketball, and and, and I, I'm you know I, and I, I'm proud of where, where we are now because when I first took the job 23 years ago, one of the school board members asked me to hire me. He said, Coach, I, I only thing I would ask would you please play the Lexington schools because <laughs> they haven't been playing them. And I said oh, I'd love to play, <laughs> and and uh, so that that's that's where we come since then and everything, but. Yeah, it, they, 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 they really got a lot of good basketball down there, and, and uh, the challenge of playing them is, is, really, is really good. And you'll play anybody as evidenced by uh, the game on Saturday, a uh, long trip east to uh, the, uh, the Breathitt County Tournament, and you're playing uh, Knott County? Central? Knott County is uh, defending 14th region champion <laughs> for the last 50 years. I <laughs> they've, been, they've been in the state tournament every year. Sure. I know for the last five years. Uh, they, they, and they're the team to beat, they're the favorite down there right now. So it'd be a 
really good one for us. I think both these games, early in the, early in the year, you really like some challenges because you find out a lot about your team and what, you, what, what direction you're going. Because again, we're feeling through right now. We're mm -hmm. trying to play ourselves into a, into a eight, nine man rotation. Mm -hmm. And then once we get there, then, then, we, then we can start getting tournament ready. Right now, we're, we're still feeling our way through. Mm -hmm. This guy sitting next to you has had a couple good games, though, so far. <laughs> what are you looking out of him this year? I know you and I You know, I, I, I've said it along. I, I've seen a lot of players in the state and everything. I know everybody gets on these internet and stuff, but I, I really think Michael is, is the best all-around player. He does more things, does more athletics and stuff than any player I've seen in the state. That's why I expect so much out of Michael. I think sometimes Michael will say, Coach, I'm a 15-year-old kid. I don't <laughs> but but, but I, don't, I, I, I can't let him think like that. And, and like I told him last year, I, I would never think of you all as freshmen. You know, we can't act like freshmen at last year. And so I, it, it's, it's tough with, with Michael in that, and it, it puts a little pressure on him, but it's also good that somebody believes in you. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and if you can go through life, you can find five or six people that believe in you, you're a lucky man, you know, and, and I believe him. I, I believe he's the best player. You know, he, we've had some great ones come through here, and he could be, he could work himself right to the top. Yeah. Michael, is that a humbling thing to hear from a guy that's seen as much basketball as this gentleman has? I mean, it's it's an honor. I, mean, I I never thought of myself as you know being as good as he claims me to be. So I just continue to <laughs> to work hard and just try to you know work myself into that into those shoes like. I mean, all the great players that have came through here, came through Kentucky, just to think, you know, he sees me as one of those players that could has the potential to play, like, be as good as those players. It's just, it's a huge honor. So, I mean, it's big shoes to fill. So, yeah, I mean, I may be a big old kid if you look at me, but just, it's it's really, really a great honor to have, you know, see uh, people see me with the potential to be as good as I can be. And the thing about Michael is, is Michael about 15? I was just 15 years. I was 15 years old. <laughs> I can barely tie my own shoe. I, I was. I was trying to learn how to. I was trying to touch the rim. <laughs> but but uh, but it, it is amazing how far he has come. We got Michael comes from a great family. Uh, got great support there. He's grounded very well. Uh, I, I think that you know a lot of players, the really elite players in the state, they, they get so much baggage on them. Mm -hmm. And I think his mom has done a great job of protecting him. From doing that, I remember a few years ago we had a big time player here, and, and uh, some of the college recruits come in, and I asked one of them one night. I said, "Is it always like that?" Because he had a lot of baggage, a lot of put hangers on, a lot of entourage around him, and and they said, "Yeah." They said, "Believe it or not, it's more so than not." But that's the great thing about Michael. His family has done a great job of, of keeping him grounded and focused, and he's a straight A student. He makes straight A. So I uh, look those grades every week. It's good to look down and see all A's under his name. Because that'll open a lot of doors for him down the road. Yeah, get to, get to go to the school of your choice, hopefully. Right, right. 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 it'll open a lot of doors. Yeah. Uh, next week, beyond uh, the, the games this Thursday and Saturday, uh, anything we should look at beginning of next oh, week? Oh, gosh. Catholic, Lexington Catholic on Tuesday. Hey, Cal, you take the records, the score, everything, just throw it out the Speaking window. Speaking of uh, those It's rivalries. one of the top rivalries in the state of Kentucky, and I think last year we finally got the upper hand on them. Everybody else, we got them. A big one in street against, but uh, then they've been back. With, been, it's been back and forth with them ever since that I've been here, mm -hmm. and it's a great rivalry. Their student section will be fired up, and it'll be. Uh, it's it's really it's really a lot of fun. And, and those kids from Lexington Catholic, they're tough kids. They would battle. They get they battle like crazy. They've got a good team. I I think you know they're they're really they're really a, a strong contender for the Livers region. I know they've lost some games here early, but They've had some injuries and stuff, but they're 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 going to be a, they're going to be. And then when Scott County and Lexington Catholic play, you know it's 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 about whoever whichever team the toughest usually wins. And going into a quote unquote hostile environment, you're going to like that as a player, don't you? Kind of gets the juices flowing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think going into a hostile environment, especially like Lexington Catholic. I mean, there's nothing like that game. Scott County Lexington Catholic is just. Ever since I was a kid coming to these games, it's, just, it's a huge, huge game. And to play in it and now, like, I, I, I dream to play in it. And to now be able to, this is my second year playing against Lexington Catholic. It's one of my favorite games of the year just because, you know, I see these kids out in public all the time. And, I mean, 
you, you would never look – looks are very deceiving because these kids, I mean, they don't look like us. They, they have a different persona. Just – and going in there, they scrap. They play hard. <laughs> and they give us their absolute best. So, I mean, it's always a dog fight. And, I mean, it gets a little heated. And their student section is very, very tough on us. <laughs> but uh, we just – I love hostile environments personally. And I know that when the time comes – I mean, we're not overlooking Thursday, Saturday, but when the time comes, I know we'll be fired up, ready to go. You know, Cal, strange. We're in a district with Henry Clay and Brian Stacey and Sayre, but Sky County people, they still, <laughs> they're big one they want to win. It's Lexington County. That's the one on their <laughs> Cal, the game. They want to beat Lexington County. Yeah, well, and, and, and again, that's, you know, it, I, I, I've been now, we've been in the Leverage region now about 12, 13 years, and, you know, you got you got to beat them to win the region. You're not going to get not gonna get out of here without beating them. We'll look forward to seeing that one and talking about that one. Until next time, thank you, Michael. Thank you, Coach. We'll see you on the sidelines.